Alright, so this is gonna be uh, question number six on this discussion. Discussion number four, what would Python do with dictionaries? And so, sorry about the background noise. Uh, hopefully, it is not too loud uh, and you can understand me. But yeah, let's get started. And so we start off, remember, but just as starting out, just remember that dictionaries are essentially like keys going to some certain value. So in this case, we have like Pokemon going to like some number. You can think of this as like maybe like their level or like how much HP they have. I don't know, whatever you think about. Or like how many Pikachus there are. So there's a key. In this case, it's the Pokemon going to a certain number. In this case, for example, Pikachu goes to the number 25 and Dragonair is going to go to 148. And so our dictionary is going to get initialized here and it's going to get assigned to Pokemon. And you know, if we try to print out what Pokemon is, output what Pokemon is, it's pretty much going to put out the exact same thing. So Pikachu corresponds to 25, Dragonair corresponds to 148. And then yeah. And next up, we have Mewtwo and Pokemon. And so remember that when I when we say like something in, in a dictionary, we're checking if that value uh, Mewtwo is in the dictionary's key so far. And so if you look at the dictionary so far, what we have is that there's Pikachu and there's Dragonair, but there's no Mewtwo. So Mewtwo isn't a key in the dictionary, so we're gonna have false right here. And then next, we can also check, um, get the, like, the length of the dictionary. And the length is essentially saying like the length, like how many key value pairs there are. So you can think of this as like the length of the number of keys, the length of the number of values or the number of key pair values, key value pairs, uh, doesn't really matter. But in this case, we have Pikachu and we have Dragonair, these two key value pairs. And so our length is gonna be two right here. And in here, we do some pretty interesting stuff. And we say Pokemon Mew equals Pokemon of Pikachu. And so remember, always try to evaluate the right hand side of an assignment statement first. So let's start by checking Pokemon of Pikachu. And then so Pokemon of Pikachu, uh, we check what Pikachu is right here, and we see that Pikachu is 25. And so this is going to evaluate to the number 25, so we're getting the value out of it that corresponds to Pikachu. And then we're going to assign Mu to be 25 inside of this dictionary. And so since Mu isn't in this dictionary so far, it's going to create a new key value pair. And so I'm going to copy this down, and you can imagine that I have a new value here that's saying uh, mu is corresponding to 25. And yeah, and next up we have Pokemon of 25 is equal to Pikachu. So they kind of like switch things up, they kind of say, um, but remember that when we're indexing into a dictionary, this thing is always going to be, so the 25 right here in place of that, it's always going to be the key that we're indexing into, not the value. And so because of this, 25 isn't a key in here. So Pikachu, Dragonair, and Mew are, are all the keys. And 25 isn't there. So we're going to create a new key value pair. And so 25 is going to correspond to the string Pikachu. So note that this is different from Pikachu right here. And so if we wanted to change the value of Pikachu, we would say Pokemon index.pikachu equals whatever number we want. Not Pokemon of 25 equals Pikachu. And so yeah, so that's what Pokemon looks like right now, and that's what it's going to output right here. And then next up, what we're going to have is pretty similar. So Mewtwo, uh, we're getting, Mewtwo is going to be whatever Mew is times 2. And so if we look in this dictionary right here, Mew corresponds to 25. So this is going to be valid to 25 right here, times 2, we get 50. And Mewtwo, you know, it's not an existing key already. And so, you know, there's no Mewtwo, Mewtwo, that's not Mewtwo, that's not Mewtwo. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new key value pair. So Mewtwo is going to correspond to 50. And the 50 came from Pokemon Mew, which is 25 times 2. And yeah, so last but not least, we have Pokemon index that um, fire type, this list fire type flying. And we're going to say it's equal to 146. And so it turns out... Uh, that it actually errors right here. And so the reason behind this is that, uh, you know, um, won't go into too much right here, but the implementation of this like dictionary is like, it maps essentially like, this is, you really don't need to know this, but it maps like certain values into certain bins. But the thing about this is that if you change this, this list right here, 
it's gonna change the bin that it belongs to. So if you imagine I put in like bin one, like fire type flying corresponds to 146, but then I change fire type and flying that list. And then suddenly it's supposed to be in a different bin, but for some reason it's in this bin. And then so when I go to try to find something that's like fire type flying, and let's say I added like uh, dark type or whatever. And if I try to look where that is, it's not gonna match up because you know this key value pair is in the wrong bin now because it should it should have been in a different bin after we changed that list. So because of that, we can't use immutable types, and uh, this is gonna error right here. It's gonna tell you, you know, something around the lines of you can't use immutable data structure. So you can only use like strings, uh, numbers, anything that can't be changed. Also tuples, you can't change tuples. But you can't use lists, you can't use like functions or things like that. And so yeah, so it's gonna error right here. Uh, but yeah, um, once again, you don't really need to know why it, this doesn't work, but just know that you can't put an immut immutable, uh, immutable data type as a key. You can use immutable ones, which are like strings, um, numbers, etc. Yeah, uh, so this is gonna be question number six. All Python data dictionaries and Hope that made sense. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you have a great night. Bye bye.